Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I took a little bit of a like a break, I guess. I mostly was just, I guess, exhausted with my life at how it was and all the stuff that I was doing. So I took a little break, but I'm back now. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing more consistent uploads. Uh, no promises. <laughs> no promises on that one. I took a trip to Poland with my friend April, uh, what was it, two weekends ago? So, uh, Labor Day weekend for all of you Americans watching. Yeah, it was an interesting experience. Definitely recommend uh, to people who like to internationally travel to go to Poland. I went to Krakow and went to Auschwitz-Birkenau. Now, I did not film the, uh, I didn't film the trip because one, I didn't want to take my camera with me on the plane and two, I felt it would be disrespectful to film the camps. So it's definitely something you have to go see in person. So that's not what this video is about. This video is not about like the camps and all that other stuff. When I was in Paris, I had a six hour layover and I found these in the store, in one of those little airport stores that has like all the candy and the books and the magazines and like all the perfumes and all the miscellaneous stuff. I found this. It is a a uh, chocolate liqueur collection. All of these are little shots. Uh, it says it's dark chocolate bottles with li liquid centers of genuine spirits, alcoholic coffee, and cocktail fillings. So each one of these little chocolates is an actual like shot of some sort of alcohol. The brand is uh, Anton Berg. It is by appointment to the Royal Danish Court, so I'm assuming these are Danish chocolates. It says chocolates with filling, 33% with spirits. So on the bottom row is all like margaritas, daiquiris, mojitos. Uh, the middle one is coffees. We got Irish, French, Mexican, and Cuban. And then on the top is like Jim Beam, Canadian Club, uh, Remy Martin, just a bunch of uh, whiskeys. I'm not going to be trying all of these today, so this is probably going to be a two-parter. One, because I don't want to get like hammer drunk off a of chocolate and two I don't need that much sugar so I'm probably going to try the first two rows because there's there's like two of each kind in both rows so I'm gonna try one half of the like the spirits and one half of the coffees and I'm going to do like as a part two I'm gonna do the entire top row so look forward to that um, make sure you're subscribed to be notified when I do make that. I'm actually trying to push myself to actually get more videos out because I feel like I've been slacking. Uh, I feel like I've been lazy. So we're gonna get started with the... Let's start with the cocktails on the bottom. It's a little strawberry daiquiri. Now, I really like daiquiris. Um, strawberry is definitely one of my favorites when it's with white rum. Uh, so it looks like this. It's a little strawberry daiquiri. It's actually really cute. It's only, it's about this big, so it's really, really small. Now for any of you who haven't had a daiquiri, it is essentially um, like an alcoholic slushy. I like the strawberry one, and they usually put white rum in it. Rum, and I think a couple other things in it, but the main alcohol is white rum. We'll see how this goes. I'm trying to figure out how to open it without tearing it, because I really like it. And there's two of these daiquiris in the set. However, I'm only gonna be trying one today because once you try one, you know what it tastes like. Come on, dude, open! I also cut the tip of my finger so it like, it hurts to open things. Oh my God, I'm so close. Give me. And it's like little tin foil and I'm just like, why are you being such a little asshole? Ha ha, I got it. Oh, it's starting to melt. Mm. So this is what it looks like. Just a little bottle. Inside is actually a little shot, so we'll see how this goes. Whoa! <coughs> mm-hmm. That is good. However, I got a very bitter rum taste like white rum taste it started out really sweet with the with the strawberry and all that stuff and then it was just like BAM white rum but it was good 
down here. Yep, next is the mojito. I don't remember ever having a mojito myself. Um, I know it's got like mint and lime and something in it. Tequila, maybe? I can still taste the rum. I don't know how I feel about that. It's like that, it's not even like the good taste of rum. It is that like bitter aftertaste. I'm just like, not pleasant. But I will say the Danish were creative when they came up with this stuff. Like, I don't look at chocolate and think, oh, daiquiri, or oh, mojito, let's put it in chocolate. Uh, it would make a really good party game if like you had a whole set and you had to like pick a number and everyone would have to take it as a shot. I might have to get another set for that. <laughs> Cause this set is for me. Come on. I frankly love dark chocolate. If you guys love dark chocolate, you would like really like this set. It's not bitter. It's not like the really, really dark cacao flavor. Mojito, little tiny bottle, same thing. So they're all gonna be essentially the same, but like inside's different. That would be actually a fun party game if someone came up with a randomizer to where like you had all of these, but they didn't have the wraps on them. And so people had to like guess what was in them or just take it randomly. That would be fun. I might do that. Pretty sure a mojito has tequila in it. And I'm not the biggest fan of tequila, unless it's in a margarita. I mean, it's okay. I'm not really a big fan of the, the tequila taste, because, like, so when these, when you bite into them, and they like, they like, uh, I guess like, leak into your mouth, it tastes funky. <laughs> it tastes strong, so. It's starting to get hot in here. Cause even though it's September, it's still in the upper 80s. Let's see what the temperature is. The temperature currently is 83 degrees at 5.45 at night in Germany. So, yeah, apparently summer's not over yet. And I'm just like, why? So I know I said I was going to do the first two rows, but because it's actually getting hot outside and I have like my Rilatins up so I could get like light in here, uh, I'm only gonna do the bottom row, meaning I have two more left and then um, I'll do a part two for the coffee and potentially a part three for the top alcohol because the top alcohol is going to be a longer one because I'm doing all six flavors because they're all different. But for this one, I'm only doing the first four on the bottom. This next one is a Cosmopolitan. Now, I've never had a Cosmopolitan, so I don't exactly know what is in it. It looks fruity. I'm assuming it's fruity. Looks like it has a couple berries on it, so well, it, since it's a cocktail, it's probably fruity. I really like fruity drinks. Like my favorite is a Sex on the Beach, or if you're if you go to the Hard Rock, the Hurricane. I really like the Hurricane. That one's a good one. I always keep the glasses from all the cities I go to. Damn it, I ripped it. <laughs> Not my intention. I feel warm on the inside. I hardly ever drink, so it's like. Taking these as shots, I'm just like, woo, this is great. But it's not enough to like actually get me drunk. It's just like, it's literally liquor and chocolate. It's not gonna do anything. However, if you do find it, uh, one, make sure you are of legal age. Uh, it is 21 in the States, 18 in Europe. And I believe in like Asia, it's 21. Here is the Cosmopolitan. Hopefully it's better than the magazine. I'm gonna look up what is in a Cosmopolitan. Cause it tastes strawberry, vodka, triple sec, cranberry juice, and lime juice. 
I could definitely taste the strawberry. That's good. I like that. I have one more that I'm going to try from this set today. I'm trying to pace myself. <laughs> Not trying to go nuts. This is the, it's the margarita. I personally really like margaritas. At one point I didn't because I didn't like tequila. But over time it's gotten better. And people are like, oh my god, you didn't like tequila. Why didn't you like tequila? And I'm, there was one day I took like seven shots. It's not fun. I was drunk off my ass. Good time though. Yeah, this will be the last one for today. Uh, because this is a lot of chocolate. I'm not trying to be bouncing off the walls. This melting thing is the margarita. It smells like dark chocolate. If you have ever had like a dark chocolate Ghirardelli square, that's what it smells like. You disappointed me, Margarita. It was okay. Not great. Mm. I expected that to be I guess better. But for some reason, this one especially, so it's like a syrup that's inside of them. For some reason, this one tasted extra thick. Like thick. I was kind of disappointed actually. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be not great. My favorite one was probably the daiquiri. And even then it was just like, it was meh. I did like the cosmopolitan. That one was good. The mojito was it was, a mo it was not bad. None of them were particularly bad. I just, there's some that I like and some that I was just like, meh. That was the first part of this, uh, I guess, multi-part series. I just did not want to eat that much chocolate. Like, holy crap. <laughs> that was a lot of chocolate just for four of them. I'm like, I'm good on my sugar for today. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe down below. I'm trying to make more videos. I'm trying to branch out a little bit. I started playing Animal Crossing for the Switch, and we'll be streaming that once I get my capture card in. If you guys have any suggestions for videos that I should do next, uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. You can also message me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, that's it. Feel free to like, message me any suggestions you might have because there's probably some ideas that I hadn't thought of. I am trying to do more ASMR videos. I'm trying to get back into those. I might read a passage out of a book for my next ASMR. I'm not sure yet. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!